Good afternoon, good evening, welcome to What's Up 241. Not as whiffed, but a little test run to see if I have managed to successfully convert my 2015 Specialized Alley into a kind of gravel bike. I say kind of because the changes are very minimal, but they should allow me to use this bike at the very least in poorer weather conditions, slippier roads, muddier trails, and ideally on full on sort of gravel tracks, because there are plenty of them around my way. And I've always wanted to ride them, but would absolutely not want to risk using my Cervelo, and I don't think it would handle it very well. Anyway, so what I'm first doing is riding up to what's not really, not technically a gravel trail, but it's a very gravelly, bumpy, bumpy road. So it's a very gentle bedding in period. So let's go and have a look. Out. these roads are a lot more full-on mud gravel off-road than I'd anticipated but so far I've got to say this little transformation is working really well I could do with a bit more a bit more grip on the back wheel I just went up whoa, quite a steep section and then through a very sloppy muddy section and uh, the back wheel was slipping very slightly under power uh, on the uphill so I could do with a bit a few more nobbles I think on the tyres but I'm not wearing padded shorts the tyres are only 28s I'm running them at about I think I put 75 psi in both I'll have to check when I get back and it's surprisingly comfortable and I'll tell you what one change that I did make I'm really grateful for at the moment is a 34 tooth cassette I might have to put one on my road bike for when I go to Scotland so a lot of these roads are completely new to me and I've lived in this area for 23 years now and had no idea that half of these trails were here I mean this is steep what I'm going up now one handed the 34 tooth is freaking amazing, but even that will have its limits. Oh, this bit, bloody hell. That's got to be about 20%. Yeah, ouch. All right, I've reached a crossroads. That seems like as good an excuse as any to take a break. Let me just quickly run through the changes that I have made. I'll just jump off. Oh, hang on a second. All right, I'm actually, actually going to lay the bike down on its side. In true off-roading, kind of get messy, don't give a crap fashion. Right, I'll just flip the camera around and tell you what I've done. First change were some 28-inch Panarasa Gravel King tyres. I should have gone for the SKs, but they didn't do them in 28, and I wasn't convinced that I'd fit 28s in this frame, let alone the... Uh, the 32s, I think, is the smallest size they do for the uh, for the SKs. The SKs, incidentally, I think the SK stands for small knobs. It's got tiny little knobbles on the outsides just for extra grip. And like I say, they do a 32 mil. Uh, excuse the state of those wheels, by the way. These are my old Campagnolo Sirocco 35s, and uh, I absolutely detest the graphics on them. So I started peeling them off, and as you can see, 
that one, the bottom one, works beautifully. This one is going to take a fair bit more work. Uh, but I didn't have time, I wanted to just get out on the bike, so I'm not that fussed. Right, next big change. 1134, uh, what's it called? Cassette. Absolutely beautiful, as I was just describing. This is just 105 stuff, so it's not particularly expensive. And not particularly light, but again, this is all very experimental, so I didn't want to invest too much effort or money on it, if I'm honest. Then we come down to the latest 105, would it be the 8000 rear derailleur? Lovely long cage to accommodate the 34 tooth cassette. And I think that is it. The idea behind this is to do a little bit of cycle, cycle adventuring, some mini bike packing with a view to eventually doing the uh, Scotland North Coast 500. I've watched a couple of videos and I've seriously got the bug. I've got to do it. And luckily, a few of my friends and teammates have uh, said they want to do it as well. So that actually could happen probably next summer. So that's what I'm gearing towards. What I have planned to do a very mini bike packing overnight, just one night stop off on a loop that I've done around Sussex down to a beach called West Wittering Beach. And then along the coast towards Brighton and back up through some of the big cycling points like Ditchling, Ditchling Beacon and places like that in Brighton back down through Sussex to uh, into Surrey and back home again with a stopover one night it works out about 300 kilometers the reason for wanting to do that is I've not really done back-to-back -back big rides day after one one day after the other so I want to push myself to do 150k there 150k back with a, a sleepover possibly in a tent more likely in a hotel <laughs> just to try and build up doing some back-to-back -back big rides so that's the idea and i want a nice bike to do it on i'm not going to do it on my cervello it's too the position of it's a little bit too aggressive it's too harsh beautiful on nice roads absolutely can't fault it love it to bits but i want something a little bit more rugged that i'm not that bothered about something i'm quite happy to hang frame bags and handlebar bags and things like that off the front and what ideally i want something with bigger wider tires more tire clearance and disc brakes but for the time being this bad boy is doing me quite nicely what i will say is check out the handy job i did on the bars just before i came out where i just had to replace the rear ge uh, gear cable i had to take some of the bar tape off and the electrical tape that i used to hold the tie hold the bar tape at the end lost all its stickiness so i had to use bright orange parcel tape to hold the bar tape on for now uh just a another one of my incredibly clever little little hacks right anyway this road continues at quite a gradient on some pretty loose mud and rocks for some distance so i'm gonna jump on see how far i go before my legs and lungs completely pack in turn around and head for home anyway off we go <music> Just amazing. Been riding quite a while now, and I'm just surrounded by beautiful sort of I want to say gorges, but they're much smaller than that, and that makes it sound too magnificent. But I don't know what they're actually be called, but I'm like at the top of a I don't know if you'll be able to see. Oh, there's like a pretty shit there's, ugh, there's like a pretty steep drop to the left of me, looking down onto more woods. I'm riding along this muddy trail and what I don't have to worry about obviously cars I do have to worry about riding this one-handed whilst holding this camera that's a bit of a, a slightly irresponsible extra little bit of risk I've thrown into this but I'd much rather crash of my own accord on mud and come off on the on tarmac and get hit by a car I'm not scrapping road riding altogether by the way this is just oh, so I can mix things up a little bit and my kids definitely get worried every time I go on an outside ride on the road. They get very panicky. So they'll be pleased if I did a fair percentage of my riding on these kind of paths. Okay, I've reached civilization. And I think I know where I am. This is the most beautiful road where I used to rent a flat in a little village near me called Catrum, a little town. And my landlords had a house on this road. And there, I'll show you this one. I don't think, well, I know this isn't their house, but this is the kind of thing. It's bloody gorgeous. 
and there is actually a really lovely lookout point around here somewhere but yeah I don't know if you can see the house behind me I don't know I don't know if you can see that at all or certainly how well you could see it in fact I want to turn around I don't want to be going up this way for a start it's very bloody steep and also I think the room I want is the other way but yeah they used to have one of these houses and uh, many moons ago I used to drive up here paying them the rent every month absolutely wonderful people by the way not that any of that is of any interest to you whatsoever but they were truly truly beautiful people All right, I think I've inadvertently just found the steepest road unknown in these parts. I've been coming down it, holding my brakes on full and still moving. So depending on how long it is, I think I'm gonna to go to the bottom, see if I can ride up it. It's nasty. Okay, I'm going for it. It's called Woodland Way. It's uh, quite long, very steep. So I'm gonna put the camera down, camera down now and grind my way up here. So I made it up that climb and this was the reward. I don't know how well you'll be able to see me but I'm heading home now because it's 10 to 9 in the evening it's, uh, it's getting pretty dark and my lights are on my other bike this bit's quite steep downhill and very bumpy so I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to do one-handed but so anyway the point of this video was to show that for very very little money I can turn a specialized LA circa 2015 2016 hold on right decided to stop to finish this off yeah specialized LA 2015 turned it into a very usable gravel bike I mean this is proper can you see Look. it's proper gravy grav gravy gravelly muddy roads that I'm riding on and this has been bloody amazing honestly I know I say that about everything I ever do but this genuinely has been really good so Fatter tyres at lower pressures, a 34 tooth cassette, long cage derailleur unless you already have one that will take a 34 tooth cassette. The only thing is it's starting to make some sort of grubby noises. So I think there's a lot of crap built up in between the wheels and the brakes and stuff like that. So obviously I haven't got the clearance that I'd like. And I, on this kind of terrain, I can very much see the benefits of disc brakes. But this has convinced me I want to do more gravelly, off-roady kind of riding. So anyone who wants to sponsor me, send me a gravel bike i love the latest factor gravel bike that's really nice and incredible value 3t exploro sigma sports i know you do those send me one that gray and orange one i've been recently seeing on instagram posts that'd be very nice uh ooh, who else makes really nice uh, gravel bikes i like those rondos anything titanium yeah just sponsor the channel send me a gravel bike i promise I will use it and upload it onto YouTube as regularly as I possibly can and uh, that'll be money well spent on as far as you're concerned because obviously it's not every day you get an offer to advertise your wares to literally hundreds of people on YouTube so there you go anyway thank you very much for watching I hope this was of interest to some people it really was just to satisfy my own curiosity but there you go 500 pound alley into full-on gravel bike See you next time.